Move out my way, you see me trying to get to my room, you what's up then? Sometimes I, I might as well, you know, try to inform you guys a little bit. Now this is not your step-by-step -step itinerary, okay? This is just a an idea of what to expect moving day. All right, let's get. They usually have a day dedicated just for freshmen moving on campus. Expect a lot of people. So before you even start moving things into your room, you gotta meet with your RA. Your RA is your residential assistant. I don't really know what that stands for. He or she will give you some paperwork. He or she will check you in, give you your key, or if you're gonna be using your card as your key, whatever, you guys are gonna check in. They're gonna give you a sheet of paper. You gotta go up to your room. You gotta make sure your room is a o k i z a all right? When you're doing this check-in, make sure you are not taking it lightly. This check-in is to make sure that if there's anything wrong with the room, that you mark it down before you move in. You'll have different sections on the paper saying good condition, okay condition, horrible condition. If you see something with a dent in the wall, it is horrible condition, and you need to make sure that you check that that desk has a dent in it, meaning it has horrible condition, so that you don't get fined for it when it's time to check out. This is not the first time you will see this sheet. You will also see this sheet again when you are doing checkout, and anything that is not the way that it was on this paper when you moved in, you will be fined for it when you moved out. All right? Then you're gonna go ahead and move your stuff in. You know, expect like I said, you're gonna expect a lot of people. The elevator is gonna be packed. There may just be a line for the elevator. You know what I'm saying? If you gotta take the stairs, go ahead and take the stairs. The elevator may just break down because saw so many people going up and down, up and down, up and down. When you have all your stuff moved in, and you know your parents or whoever came to drop you off is about to go, you know, expect there to be some. Here. This is made for the people leaving home for the first time. You're a freshman. You, you're gonna boo-hoo. Either your parents are gonna do it or you're gonna do it. You know what? Ain't no shame, okay? Let it go. Now, some other things that you can expect on moving day, as well as the rest of the moving week or, or weekend, is uh, your dorm may have a mandatory meeting that you have to attend. They'll break down the rules that you need to know for the dorms, you know. No sneaky people in here after a certain time, you know what I'm saying? Y'all might do some icebreaker games, you know, get to know each other. <laughs> as far as on campus, there actually may be some shows going on, maybe a comedy show. Shoot, you might have a full-blown concert, convocation, just really boring. But it's needed, all right? Might have some notable people come and speak to you notable famous alumni or just people that you've never heard of but just a lot of different events are going to be going on that week or weekend and i advise you to go to all of them you have nothing better else to do now here's some things i recommend that you do during your move-in day when you're moving in set up your big stuff first all right meaning your tv making sure your wi-fi is connected and working properly have your bedding set up you know what i'm saying do the big stuff first oh wait but before you do any of that Make sure you clean down that room, okay? Not everybody cleans up before they move out. So you may need to Lysol the bed down, clean the drawers out. You may need to sweep or vacuum the floor if it's dirty. I mean, unless you just want to be in a dirty room, that's up to you. Now, sometimes you may not even have to do all of that, you know, depending on how clean or dirty the room is. But I would definitely suggest, at the very least, to Lysol the bed down and the desk. And go ahead and spritz it with some Febreze wipes. If your roommate is also a freshman, they will be moving in the same day as you. If they're not, you may not see them until the next day or later or on that weekend. But whenever your roommate does get there, make sure you introduce yourself to them. And not just introducing yourself to your roommates, but also your hallmates. And while you're moving in, if you notice that once you're done that your roommate needs help or your hallmate needs help, help them, offer to help them. That's how friendships are made. I thought we did that. Another thing I suggest you to do is to go grocery shopping the day that you are moving into your dorm. Now, for everything else that you need to get, such as decorations, bedding, do not wait until the day of to get these things. You will have nothing. You will be sleeping on a hard, cold bed in an empty room, okay? Wally World and Tarjay will be packed. You guys, this is moving day. It's, oh, and if you're not the only college in this town, oh my god. So that's why you shouldn't be doing any other type of shopping during this time. Maybe little things like school supplies, 
possibly but stuff like you know your sheets and your bedding and type of decorations no you need to go to bed bath and beyond something a long time before that but definitely wait to get your groceries the day of moving another thing that i suggest that i personally didn't do but i probably should have is go to the bookstore with your people to buy any type of apparel, school apparel it's expensive a sale may be going on you know because it's the first week and you know your parents are there so they can buy it for you <laughs> On top of that, your parents are so proud that you're a liger now, so they want to put it on their bumper of the car. Your dad wants to walk around with the t-shirt on saying, my son's a liger. Make your parents proud and take them to the bookstore so they can buy all this expensive stuff on top of paying all your tuition. Another thing that I suggest that I personally didn't do, but it sounds like a very great idea, is when you're done moving everything in and you see that, you know, you clicked with a homemade or your roommate, whatever, invite them and their parents to go out to eat with you and your parents. You guys can be family friends now. <laughs> it's a good opportunity to get to know each other better and possibly make a new friend. All right, now before this video is over, I also want to tell y'all some tips for packing because it's gonna make your move in a little bit more smoother. Huh? Pack using small bins like this. Small bin like that comes in handy versus a really, 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 really big one because when you're moving in your stuff, if you don't stay on the first floor, you know, you want to easily carry it up the stairs. Say if you don't have an elevator, the elevator's broke down. The line is all the way to East Jerusalem. Just want to make it easier on yourself. Only pack what you need. I can't stress this enough. If you haven't gotten your packing essentials checklist yet on my website, elinicole.com slash checklist, you guys will already know that I tell y'all to only pack what you need. During your first year, it's so easy to overpack. So make sure you get that list to try to minimize the overpacking because I know y'all going to do it anyway. But to try to at least minimize the overpacking as much as possible, get that list. It's free. You also want to make sure that you are dressing comfortably, you feel me? <laughs> get your sketchers out. Ooh. Keep in mind that whatever storage that you bring is going to have to stay in your room, especially if you're getting the plastic bins like I suggest. Unless you're using cardboard boxes and you're going to break them down and throw them away afterward, whatever you're moving in with is what you have to move out with. So yeah, whatever storage that you get, you want to make sure it's not overwhelming because whatever you bring is going to have to stay in your room. Room. Um, so it's, it's gonna stay under your bed or it's gonna go in your closet or whatever the case may be Just make sure you have enough room for it. The only huge huge thing I suggest you get like I've said before is a foot locker or a trunk and that type of stuff It don't even have to be empty. You can actually keep stuff in it, you know through the school year Now the last thing you want to make sure you're doing when you're packing is to pack your clothes in military style Or I'm gonna show you what I mean okay. Oh, you're nasty <laughs> Yo, these buttons don't even unbutton. They're just there for decoration. Now, folding in military style is actually pretty simple. All you got to do is roll it, all right? Now, this is a cardigan, so it's really thick and big. <laughs> so, what you do is you just roll it like that. Yeah, it might, it might not be as neat. But, yeah, and then you just put it in your stuff and you're done. And what it does is that it helps you create more space to put your stuff in. Now, that doesn't mean to pack more clothes than what you need. That just means that instead of using four bins for clothes, you only have to maybe use like two. All right, so that's all I got you for this video. This video is pretty lengthy, so I'm gonna end it right here. Let's go. Wait, but make sure you give this video a huge thumbs up, subscribe to this channel, hit that notification bell. All right, I'm out. This is this Go grocery shopping at the Lee Uh their parents and your parents and all oh, y'all can be friends and switch and be friends. Switch, we can do it all night long. Yeah, to the clock came all you day. We can dance on the floor. Mm -hmm. Let me know. Let me see if you can't run it, run it. Gonna do that, can't run it, run it. <laughs> I'm done. Okay, I'm, I'm stupid. <laughs> Alright. It's a good opportunity to get to know each other better. Better, better, better. That way. Ooh, that plane is disrespectful. Get your small bin so I'll make it easier for you, okay? You don't want to get a huge one like that, you know? Ooh, pennies showing back up. Probably plus more. Why did I like that? <laughs> Perhaps. That's a very, very, very. <laughs> Wasn't it Mr. Pacelli or something? I don't know. No, that was a dude. Never mind. Okay, okay. I saw folding military step. I saw folding military step. <laughs>